In drug discovery and specifically medicinal chemistry, we are working on generating compounds that are effective in modulating human disease and in addition are safe to take for clinical trials. The success rate in drug discovery is rather low when we go for first-in-class mechanisms where very little is known. One has to go through 10,000 compounds to get to a good compound that can go into the clinic. So historically speaking, it's been an art trying to think through what could be the optimal chemical structure that can help us target a specific molecule. But over time, we've been able to generate more and more data, high throughput screening hit data, as well as other data on the molecular structures of these proteins or the actual uh, structures of the chemistry itself. And we've been using a lot of computational tools to help us find that match between the chemical compound and that protein or target of interest. Where AI can come in, essentially, is to learn across a large space of the representation of possible molecules that can bind to that molecule and essentially make what a human might be doing a bit more efficient. And hopefully in doing this, we can shortcut that whole process to design and get to better molecules faster that we can test out in the lab faster that have the properties that we want. We can get to very quick iterations, prioritize compounds made, and save a lot of time since we don't need to synthesize all the compounds and only synthesize and test the compounds that are prioritized based on these computational models. A large part of why we're working with Microsoft is the investments and the commitment that they've made into fundamental deep AI research. And they've set up the Microsoft Research Center, which is, consists of hundreds of experts in the field of AI and machine learning, where they're doing deep, fundamental research in the field. We are bringing in the drug discovery experience and all the medicinal chemistry knowledge. And then from Microsoft, an enormous wealth of computational knowledge. And bringing those two powerhouse knowledges together to apply AI and drug discovery is really exciting. It certainly has the power to support chemists to make better drugs faster. It also has certainly will not replace the scientist that has actually to decide which tests do we need to use, what are the properties of the compounds we need, and who has to apply the judgment of what computational models to use to actually get to a drug. I think it's easy to sort of trivialize how hard this is. Every step of what we do requires a lot of human expertise, a lot of data, and a lot of corroborating evidence to back it up. Now we can bring all of these things together, advance what we're doing through AI and data science in ways that couldn't be done before.